Yo, what's going on, everybody? Hello, welcome in, welcome in. It is time for us to finally deal with Gaston, unfortunately. But hello, welcome in, welcome in, guys. I hope everybody's having a good day today. Oh, so I actually, I actually finished the Cave of Wonders, Wonders, Cave of Wonders part. So if you guys haven't caught up to that point and you like don't want to see anything further, you, this may not be the stream for you. But we're gonna finish out all of Gaston's quest line hopefully today, and um, you guys can also see a sneak peek at my dream snap for this week. I just did like a little uh, tangled inspired theme, but let's see what quest am I even working on. Witchy Stitcher, hello, a Jen, Christian, a Hope, a Blissy, hello, hello, welcome in Bex, hello, a Star, a Winston, hello, hello. I'm actually enjoying his quest line, that the banter is hilarious. You know, his quest line so far seems a lot longer than some of the other quests, so. I'm not mad about it, it had like a lot of dialogue and it is pretty funny. And it's just hilarious to me how they made him so ridiculously annoying. <laughs> like, we knew he was going to have to be, but I almost feel like he's worse in the game than he is in the movie. Afora, Afora, welcome in. Filler Cat, hello, hello. Mystic Cub, Chanjin, Denny, welcome in, guys. So what has everybody been working on? Are you guys, like, pretty much done with the update? Or are you guys still on the grind? I still have to do my star path, too. I think I'm at... What have I unlocked? I have 155. I need to start unlocking some stuff. I just don't know what to go for. I see a lot of people hating on these gray oxfords. <laughs> star path grind today. I need to work on that, too. Um... This rack is okay. I feel like it should have came with the, the ice rink, though, instead of splitting those two up. I love this rug. Where do you get the rug from um, Rapunzel's tower? Is it part of a quest line? Where is her tower, anyways? Oh, here it is. Yeah, how do you get this rug inside here? Because it is so beautiful. Look at that thing. I've never seen it, like, in the shop. There's no way this giant thing is in Scrooge's store. It's a friendship reward? Okay, I was hoping for that. I was hoping there was going to be a guaranteed way to get that. Because that thing is so pretty. Uh, what else? They did a good job decorating her room, though. Like, they did a really good job. Except this chest has got to go. Yeah, I don't think I can pick that up. Can I get rid of this? Nope. Maybe part of the quest? Yeah, her room is very pretty, though. Like, they did a good job decorating. Oh, I never even thought to put these in the corner. Wait, ours are bigger than that, right? They have it like glitching through the wall? Are we able to do that? I'm gonna have to try that. I don't think we can. That's so unfair. It goes perfect in my tangle room. I already have set up. Yeah, I have got to get that. I think I got my sound off. All right, let's turn this up. We'll leave voices kind of low because sometimes we get a jump scare from like Maui or somebody. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's get started. Um. Wait, I have all of these quests to do still? Oh my gosh. I thought I was almost done with the update. I'm really not. I never really paid attention. I have all of Eve's quests. I haven't done any of those. I have to do this one still. I have to do that one. I just unlocked this when I unlocked the lagoon. Uh, I have to do Rapunzel's quest still. I pretty much went straight for grinding stuff out of the crafting tables. And then something for Scrooge. Alright, yeah, we'll do this one. So it says, Gaston is feeling settled in the valley, but wants to regain the social clout he once held back home. And for that, he'll need help getting his lodge back in order. Cleaning up Gaston's Lodge was a task and a half, but renovations were only the first step. Next up is decoration. Scrooge McDuck was able to help supply some decorations for Gaston's Lodge, but demands a cut of the profits from the restored lodge. 
Gaston's lodge is back in tip-top shape, but he wants to try and acquire a rare and magical item. Oh, that's where we got the food. Okay, I'm all caught up now. So it says cook any meat-based meal of two stars or higher. Oof, of course my inventory is full. Um, actually, my house is back here now. Not social clout. <laughs> That would be his quest line, like the objective. Torto, welcome in. You really came in with a surprise. Sh you know, that's that's how I operate around here. You guys should know that. Sometimes we stream at 1 p.m. Sometimes it's 3 a.m. That's just how that's just how we roll around here. Mm -hmm. I still haven't organized these chests. Just pretend that they look nice. Oh yeah, I got a furniture pouch I was saving to open with you guys. <clears throat> I feel like you guys bring me some better luck because every time I open this stuff on my own, it's a table or a couch. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Isn't this something you can craft out of the crafting bench now? Right? This isn't like some furniture item that you can get from Scrooge's store or anything. What the heck? Yeah, that's a craftable. That's what I'm saying. How did I? Whoa, dang, boy, look at that. That thing is massive. Oh, <laughs> it goes through the roof. <laughs> Cheap gifts. Oh my gosh. When they said a heap, they were not kidding. That thing is literally sticking through my roof. <laughs> All right, we got to craft the rest of these. It's like they took the assets from the Cave of Wonder and literally just allows us to craft them now. Oh, man. Three different sizes of coin piles. Yeah, I've seen them. I just never thought they were that massive. That would have been great for Pirate Week. I guess if they ever start redoing all of the Dream Snap themes, you know, like they, re they redid that Dreamers Unite. At least we have new items now, so if we ever need to do a pirate dream snap, you know, we have we have some options. Oh man, I can't believe they gave that to us though. A craftable item. Also, from today's video, a lot of you guys helped me. I did manage to get my um my flowers. You were right. The issue why I couldn't pick them up was because they needed to be watered which is weird that four of the flowers needed watered out of nowhere like they were in the same spot so i can actually pick these up now which is great and i think that was the last one but yeah if anyone else is having that issue and you can't pick up any flowers you just have to water them all right cook any two star meat meal I don't think I have any recipes for that. Vambi, thank you so much for subscribing. My Rapunzel's quest isn't bugged anymore. Is it the one with the gears where you had to chase them down? Did they fix it with the recent hotfix? Indigo Vixen, welcome in, welcome in. Okay, meat-based meal. I don't think I have anything. Do you guys know any meat recipes? Um, we'll throw some, we'll throw some pork in here. And then a tomato. Okay, that made a roast. Let's see, what else? Throw some pork. Corn, potatoes, and poultry? Let's try it. Do I have any potatoes? I do. Oh, that looks... That looks interesting. We have to do four of them. Oh my gosh. Uh, I wish they had a whole separate tab. We... Veggie meat equals a burger. All right, I'm gonna try that one too. I wish they had a separate tab for the new recipes. 
Does it matter which meat? Can it be any of them? And then you said some wheat and a veggie. We'll throw a pepper in there. Oh my gosh, I messed it up. All right, we'll, we'll just do it the easy way then. <laughs> I gotta make all of the recipes. I gotta experiment with them still. All right, bring the meals back to Gaston's lot. What are we thinking about um, Gaston's house? Are you guys liking it or not? It looks a little... It looks a little different from what we thought it was going to be. Like, uh, you guys remember from the trailer where it had the deer antlers? Do you think that was the original Gaston's house and then they changed it? Or do you think that house is still coming to the game? What is this one? Oh! We got Tiana in the house. Oh, I'm taking the long way around. Ba -da -do 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 -do. Mm -hmm. It gets a bit better. Simply unique. Welcome in. What's Rapunzel doing up in here? I do like his little music that, that comes on though. Alisa, hello. Here you go, Gaston. Four meals as promised. Good. People have already started to arrive. Oh, wow. You've got quite the crowd. Of course, everyone wants to celebrate Gaston. Now, I will welcome them and be at the life of the party once more. Well, don't let me stop you. Alexandra, hello. Are you shaking? Are you nervous about talking to people? What? Of course not. If I'm shaking, it's from hunger. Spending years alone in the desert hasn't made me nervous around people, and I'm offended that you would think that. That isn't what I said. Misty, welcome in. I guess I'll head out for now. No, you must stay. I can't do this without you. It's the pouty face. Look at him. Poor Gaston. Er, I mean, I have further tasks for you. You must help me make sure this event is a success. Talk to everyone, make them feel welcomed. All right, all right, calm down. I'll make the rounds. I found all these quests pretty difficult. Yeah, I haven't really done any of the friendship quests yet, so we'll see how it goes. Hey Rapunzel, how are you enjoying the party? It's, well, the decor is interesting, isn't it? I call it retro <laughs> rugged. Gaston looks happy with the way it turned out. You don't think it's a little much? It seems to suit him, and I can't really judge. You might think the decorations were odd in the place where I was hiding in the jungle. I can't even imagine what Mother would have said. I'm sure it was lovely. She's always so concerned about what Mother Gothel is thinking. Thank you. Wow, it's so nice to be around people again. Though I did meet Gaston once when I was exploring. I'm so glad he's come out of his shell now. Really? He was more restrained in the past? Well, he just seemed lonely. He was building himself a friend out of coconuts. When he saw me, he tried to pretend it wasn't there. It was kind of awkward. Oh, that tracks. He was a little sensitive about being so lonely. I think he just needed a friend, even if it was a friend made of coconuts. I'll let you get back to gathering now. Have fun. Tammy, hello. Finish the star path. We're working on lasers and crafts, ancient gemstones. You, you uh, zoomed through that star path. Oh, greetings, neighbor. Hey, Mr. McDuck, having fun? Hi, oh. it's a grand gathering. But I'm here on business too. Got to check up on how my investment's progressing. The furnishing cost me a pretty penny, and I want to know when I can recoup my cost. When do you think I'll start receiving my 50% cut? Um, about that. Cheryl, thank you for subscribing. Gaston doesn't actually have an income stream. He just wanted a place so people could pay attention to him. What? Sorry, I only realized after I got back to him. Uh, Surreal, that is no way to do business. No income stream? Well, at least the food is good. Oh, we got Remy up in here too. 
I finished the star path and all of the quests. Let's go. How's my favorite chef doing? Just fine, but uh, that Gaston is pretty big and a little intimidating, huh? Personality or physicality? Both, but it's fine. I'm sure he's totally harmless. But hey, we've got to talk about the new meat freezer. I'd go to a party with a dozen Gastons to get my paws on some new ingredients. Any new recipes of mine? Oh, so many. Pulled pork, a shis, a tauk? Maybe even some turnip. Oh, uh, well, don't let me get in the way of your inspiration. Ah. Thanks, Suro. I'm gonna go mingle until Gaston unlocks the freezer for me, and then I'm off to test some recipes. Justin soon. Mingo, what's going on? All right, Suro, what an excellent day and what an excellent party. How do you think it went? Um, amazingly. Ah. We gotta boost his ego. We have to. That's what I like to hear. The rat seemed particularly pleased about putting meat on his menu. But more importantly, everyone knows that I'm back. Tanny, welcome in. Happy, happy Tuesday. Oh yeah, we got reset tomorrow. That is super exciting. I am excited to see what our results are going to be. But what I'm more excited is the premium shop. We can finally be excited for the premium shop resets again. Because there's a 99% chance we're going to have some new items tomorrow. And I am super hyped for that. Uh, I will be streaming in the morning, obviously, too. Unless unless I oversleep on accident. Which I haven't yet. But it's always a possibility. You're so super delicious? What? Um, why, thank you, LeFou. And why, are, why is he calling me that? You know what? Thank you, Gaston. Oh yeah, the candy cane set looks good. It has to come out before Christmas because they're going to want us to decorate with them. They're going to want us to buy them and decorate, so it has to. Youper girl, hello, welcome in. King Margo, hello, hello. I've been sick to um, play for days, but I got to log in and do my snaps. I'm so sorry. I hope you start feeling better soon. That is the absolute, absolutely the worst. The candy cane set. Gaston is thirsty. Yeah, the candy cane set looks cool. And then there's another certain house that's coming to the game, which I won't spoil, but I'm super hyped for it too. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, what? Oh, we got to level him up. Dang, I forgot about that. I leveled up Jack Skellington, but I forgot to level the rest of them up. Oof. Oh wait, the white bearded fellow, not quite what I had in mind, but perhaps he could use some of his trickery. Uh, these don't even give us that much friendship rewards. Like at all. All right, Gaston, follow me. Kayla, thank you so much for the like goal. Guys, thanks for all the likes on the stream already. All right, let me see. One second. Ba -da -do. Okay, so I might have to go and get some stuff to level him up. Hoping for a couple snow days at work so I can play all day and benefit from that glitch I discovered thanks to you. Yeah, it's still going too. Like that glitch is still active. Let me see. I don't have it right now, though. I wish I did. Add three decorate. Like, almost... If it popped up more often, it would be awesome. Because then every time you get on, you could just, like, do that glitch. That way, when you're playing throughout the day, you could get free mist. But I it, sometimes it just takes hours to get it to pop up. Unless we get super lucky. Let me try. Let me put three furniture items down. Find three glimmer. Oh, I do have to go get glimmer. Scrooge, I literally just put that down and he hopped up on it. Katie, welcome in. Welcome in. Mm -hmm. I think we've been watching too many Suro videos. When my seven and eight year old granddaughter get excited about something, they say, let's go. <laughs> do I say that that often? I'm going into the realm. Uh... 
Yeah, I've been pumping out a lot of videos, so sorry about that. Like the past week, there was I was doing like four videos a day for like a few days, and then I pulled it back down to three. And now we're back down to like two or one. This glimmer though, if you guys didn't know, you're gonna need glimmer at some point. And the only way to get glimmer is inside the realms. So make sure every day you're coming in here and snatching this stuff up. Also, one of these in the Lion King realm is always bugged. It tells you there's something over there, but there's really not. Christy, let's go. Thank you so much for the membership. Let me give you some hearts. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Can you get Glimmer to begin with? Uh, you can get it as soon as you get the new DLC. I don't think if you don't have it, it won't pop up. But yeah, see, you can't go over there for some reason. They need to fix that. I'm struggling with Glimmer today. I only got the passion. It has a cap on it. Like, you can only get so much a day, which is a shame. It took me to craft one of those new furniture items. I think it took me like two or three days worth of grinding Glimmer. I don't know if there's like a full-on cap on it, but... Sometimes they just won't respawn at all for me and I've checked many times throughout the day You can also get some good mists through the realms too There we go, we got three of them take a picture you don't know what glimmer is you only need it for one thing You'll have to use the uh, time bending bench and you can craft these like uh these furniture pieces that are pulled from different universes, but they're like really cool furniture pieces. Almost like they would be some premium shop items. But I can show you guys if you want really quickly. Let me finish grabbing this. But it'll definitely pay off to come in here every day, like once a day and collect all the glimmer. You struggling to get cores? Yeah, the cores is just something that it's just gonna take time to get to. Cause even me, you guys know how much I play. And I have five ancient cores level three, seven level two, and five level one. And this is after crafting everything. So I've probably had a total of like 10 more after this. So probably 15 total of that level three. <clears throat> it takes a long time though to get those. Prophecy girl, hello, hello. Just one in here. There's usually just one in there. Enrico, hello, hello. The Wally realm. You had a missed duty to play Scrabble coin with the dark castle door. You mean the forgotten? Because it won't let... Yeah, when I have that duty, it won't let me play with the Forgotten at all. So I don't know if that's just bugged or what. Level 3 cores are definitely tough to get. But it's okay for me because... I think a lot of us were focused on the other content anyway. So by the time we get ready to like make an automated farms... We should have a good amount of those cores. At least enough to make a couple. Mist is always um, the thing that people are struggling with though. Getting enough mist to unlock everything and craft everything. It takes a lot in this update. Which I'm not upset about because it kind of spaces out the content for us. Treasure hunting is fun and it's weird because I've done so many hours of it and I've never gotten bored from it. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need a frozen realm. I need level one to upgrade my tools. All the tool upgrades seem kind of disappointing for me. I wish there was more of a use for them. Oh, right here? There we go. Yours is telling you to play Jaf like Jafar's quest line. Which I still have to finish on that. Did you guys remember to do your dream snap? I know a lot of people are probably distracted with the update. 
but it is due tomorrow tomorrow morning so even if you haven't submitted something just just take a random picture with with the jean outfit I actually sat down and did my niche day. Mine took me like three hours to do. I did mine, but only a quick one as I'm not risking uh, putting six hours into it and not getting any mail. I've learned the less work I put into it, the more, like the higher rank I get. So I had to rethink how I go about my dreams now, but yesterday did take me a while. But I also spent like a good hour trying to decide what I want to do, looking at all the new biomes, trying to find the perfect location. And yeah, that took me a while. There's just so many options with the new area, like all the new biomes and stuff. There's just so many places to go. And it's so crazy because no matter where you take a picture on the new place, everything just looks so like aesthetically pleasing. It's almost like you can't take a bad photo. You forgot? <laughs> Kayla, you got to get on that. That is free moonstones. Mm -hmm. Liam, hello, hello, welcome in. First time catching alive. Well, welcome in. I hope you're having a good day. There we go. All right, that's it. I wish we could just teleport out of here instead of going all the way back. Oh, I got to remember to do my daily Scrabble coins and... Wait, Scrabble coins. Is that what it's called? I think so. I keep getting it mixed up. And then I have to feed my critters too. Is that all of them? Okay, so how much Glimmer did we get? I don't know. I almost have enough to craft another piece though. I have 21. So yeah, you'll take that glimmer over here to the time bending table and then you go to fragments and you can craft these exclusive pieces. So as of right now, this is the only use for glimmer, but each one will take 25. I have crafted this one so far, the Agrabah Palace. And the next thing I want, I don't know, I'm torn. I'm torn between the sword and a stone and I really want the V8 Cafe because I don't know if you guys have seen pictures of the V8 Cafe, but it is massive. It's a huge piece and I really want it and it looks so good to decorate with. We also have Scrooge's first dime. Um, uh, the mythic face. The Highland family tapestry. Bing Bong's wagon. Yeah, the cafe looks so good. And then this, I think it's just going to be an inside piece. But you still have to get the exclusive like item here. So these only spawn once like one type of day. So like the jokester of the month frame. Uh, you can only get this on a specific day of the week. Same with this one. The broken sword pieces. You can only get at a specific time. Which I need to see what today's is. Um, here they are. So it's the piano leg today. I don't know if it's the same for everyone. I would imagine it is. But I can finally get this and you can find it anywhere if your hourglass is level 2. Trevor and Alan, thank you so much for subscribing. The V8 Cafe is awesome. I used it in my dreams. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. You can set up a whole car theme. That actually would have worked really well for Gene theme too. I wonder if that one piece... Let me see. If it's in the Aladdin universe, it's not. Also, you can pick up Gaston's shipwreck. I also put this in a video, but if you didn't know, you can pick it up and it'll go straight into your inventory. So it's down here. Mm -hmm. They added so many cool pieces to the game though. I also like how you get the little figurines for the scramble coin. You get the little pieces. I'm, I'm just waiting for somebody to make like a life-size scramble coin table. Or a, a board. Because you could put some of the rocks and stuff too. Put some of the white fence and just make it a full-size one. You could use tiles. 
to make the spaces. The giant silver ornaments. It's like they made everything in this update massive, which kind of cracks me up. I'm not mad though. I love the bigger furniture pieces. That's why I really love Tower of Terror whenever it came out. Mine was the pedestal chunk. Oh, it's different for everybody. They also did that for the scramble coin pieces that you unlock. It's completely different for everyone. The Forgotten. I'm ready to do some more quests with the Forgotten. And we still don't know what's inside Skull Rock. But I think I think we're going to do that in like February when we get Mike Wazowski. I think a lot of us thought it was going to be coming out in this update. But that's not the case. Mm -hmm. Uh, Evra, hello. Welcome in. Welcome in. All right. So I guess we can keep doing Jafar's quest then since we can't do Gaston. Talk to Jafar at a hologram station. So we just got the gem and now it's time to progress. I'm hoping we get to go to the palace at the end. <laughs> Alright, you found all three jewels of time. It took you long enough. I've been waiting for an eternity. Clever play on words. We have no more time for cleverness. You must remove the time anomaly from the palace and free me from this place. I see you've cleared away the time anomaly, blocking your path through the desert. You should have no trouble reaching me. Once you reach the palace, simply focus the magic on your hourglass on the wound in time in front of the palace door. Oh, and do hurry, your reward awaits. Your eternal reward. Why are we trusting him, by the way? So it's in front of Jafar's palace? Is that all the way up here? Alright, we're getting rid of Gaston. We don't need him following us for this. How's the Gaston quest? Well, it was very short-lived because I forgot to level him up. I hope this is where we're supposed to go. I knew we shouldn't trust that man. I've been waiting an eternity. All right, at least at last we meet in the flesh. Jafar, hey bestie. Why did they put that line in there? <laughs> bestie, refer to me as the Grand Vizier. Oh, perhaps soon, Sultan of all I survey. But I shall forgive your insolence for now. I have one more task for you. What is it? There is something hidden deep beneath the island, a relic of untold power. It is called the Spark of Imagination. What is it? I have only read the legends, but it is said to be the first spark of inspiration that drove the creation of this world. You mean, it's the magic behind all of Dreamlight Valley? An Eternity Isle, Dreamlight magic may very well spring from this one ancient relic. Let me guess, you want me to get this spark of imagination for you. Very astute, Zero. Only someone wielding the hourglass can reach it. I fear the path is lost to time. After the way you proved yourself in the Cave of Wonders, I have confidence you will manage to find your way without making an utter fool of yourself. Why, you even managed to get through all of the puzzles without asking for a single hint. Most impressive. What exactly do you want the spark or what what exa exactly do you want the spark of imagination for? Why must you ask so many questions? I'm not risking my neck again without an explanation. If you must know, with the spark of imagination, all of space and time would bend to my desire. At last, I could make the world the way it ought to be and have my revenge on Aladdin. <laughs> he just straight up and told us of course, there will always be a place for you, my humble servant, at my side. Okay, now I'm definitely not helping you. Sigh, and then I suppose I'll have to do everything myself. 
Give me that hourglass. It is rightfully mine. Oh, that's the power of friendship. Well, that was interesting. Ooh, am I going to get some coins out of this? It couldn't even give me a tier three ancient core. It gave me a tier one. What? All right, Jafar has vanished, but you get the feeling he'll be back. Oh, there's a snake. This snake, I don't like the snakes, but this one is like really pretty though. I gotta make sure I get it. What? Is he just taunting me right now? <laughs> He's taunting me. Look at him. <laughs> He's like getting closer and closer. What in the world? Maybe he'll make his way over here. And I won't have to do any work. <laughs> Oh man, this game has so many funny bugs with this update. There we go. Down to my last seven eggs. You got five more critters until you have all of them? Dang! I've been slacking. Which I told myself I wasn't going to this time. Alright, I gotta change. Um the title of my stream because we're clearly not doing Gaston stuff. Um... Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Okay, back to Merlin. Where's he at? Random questing with Suro. That's what I should have named it. I mean every time we set out to do something It just never ends up that way. I mean, let's be honest with this update with how much stuff How often do you guys get completely distracted because it happens to me all the time I'll, I'll get on here to do one specific thing and then we'll be going to doing ten different things Sir, I've seen you've managed to mend the rift in time around the palace. I suppose that means Jafar is free not quite. I think he's locked in the palace. Locked mess. in the... What do you mean? Jafar tried to take the hourglass from me, but Rapunzel, Gaston, and Eve didn't like that. Eve almost gave Jafar a taste of her laser cannon. As Jafar vanished. I can only guess he's hiding in the palace. It's kind of his fortress, but before that... He said he's after something called the Spark of Imagination. The Spark of Imagination? Why, I've never heard of it. Jafar said that it was somewhere beneath the island and that only someone with the hourglass can find it. Oh, and he also said that it would give him the power to control all of space and time. Control all of space and time? Then we've no choice but to stop Listen him. Closely. Whatever this spark of imagination is, we must find it before Jafar does. But where do we start? Where so many good adventures start with a trip to the library. I must do some research. This may take quite a while. In the meantime, keep uncovering the secrets of Eternity Isle and do whatever you can to make it feel like home. Now then, I wonder if the spark of imagination might be connected to the magic of the realms. You ought to try venturing to one of the realms and use your hourglass to search there. Why, there's no telling what you might find or what you could create from it. Don't tell me it's going to tell me to go and get Glimmer after we just got everything. Okay, um... Is there no more quests? Is this still showing that bugged one? Yeah, it is. Heather, welcome in, welcome in. Cole, how's it going? That's it for now. Oh my gosh, I need to change my title again. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's still the Jafar ending. So we really don't have any more Jafar quests as of right now? Are you serious? 
I mean, I know we have two more expansion things coming out, like one in like March and then May. But that was a short quest line for him. I was expecting a, something a little more chaotic to happen at the end, you know, a little cliffhanger to keep you invested in the game. That was a letdown. <laughs> All right, well, that's it. Sue, Callie, welcome in. Thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, May is my birthday month, so I'm really happy. Yeah, we're supposed to get Tiana added to the game too, which is really cool. I'm excited to see what her quest is. I still think they should have brought her in here to have her run the restaurant on this aisle. That would have been awesome. Act 2, now we wait. We still have um, content coming out, though. I think February is the whole Mike Wazowski slash Skull Rock. And then we have, like, Mulan. And then a lucky character, which people think is Oswald. A flip. Welcome in. Hello, hello. So we still have some stuff. We still have some story on the way, at least. All right. I guess we'll do some um, a star path then for a little bit. We got 155. Oh, we got to check out the ice rink. I'm going to go back to my old valley for that. Let's go Frosted Heights, I guess. Game loss all over with this update. February should be the start of the Forgotten Act 2. I am excited. All right, let's clean this place up a little bit. I still got to upgrade my ancient stuff too, like um, the ancient gardener. The vacuum is really cool. Yeah, I gotta get Belle in her new fit for sure. Jen, welcome in. Thank you so much for the miss video. I'm playing on both PC and PS5 and I was struggling. No problem. Yeah, I did not want anyone to miss out on it because it's not like insanely fast, but I know it helps a lot. All right, let's check this thing out. I've seen it in a picture, but I haven't seen it. Oh, it's pretty big. There are so many it like really blends in perfectly too. Oh my gosh. Wait, I thought you could go on it. You can't walk on it? No. Can I sit on this? Okay, at least we can sit on that. Why would they not allow us to walk on that? That's crazy. No, <laughs> let me on there. I can't believe that. You place it on yourself. All right, at least we kind of got in there. Okay, thanks for the tip. Now you can take a dream snap in here. Oh, it kind of glitches out. You have to get it at just the right angle. Unless you go third person like this. Okay. We still need some new stances. Not that one. Or you could use the companion too. Yeah, that was a really good tip. I never thought, I mean, I'm no, I know it's not intentional, but we got to do what we got to do around here. <laughs> I just can't believe they didn't allow us just to walk over that. That's crazy. At least we can move around quite a bit. Get some good angles for your picture. Alright, good to know. Let's see if we can turn the light on or off back here. Should be able to. Um, that's a no. Let's go to nighttime. Okay, at least it turns on automatically. Can't even, can't even interact with the light post. That's so weird, though. I do love it. But I thought this was going to be a bigger ice skating rink. Because that's not really much room to skate around on. But it is cool. Alright, well... Let's look at what else we have. Ariel's outfit. I want to get Belle's outfit. Yeah, we gotta see what she looks like. See, character, Belle, Wonderland, select. 
Oh no, I was hoping it was gonna welcome her. Oh, there it is. It's just a little slow. Don't slip. Okay, I think she looks good. Let's go take a better look. And they did fix uh, fix this back to the regular color, so it's not like brown or yellow anymore. Oh, she's over here. Yeah, I like her outfit. I like this one way more than her original one. By a lot. I wish they made Belle's outfit for us. Oh my gosh, I love her little cloak she has. That's so cool. Man, she is doing everything to get away from me. Alright, I just gave you a new outfit, but it's, it's all good. Okay, we have 75 more tokens. This is a really pretty outfit, too. For the female characters. Got the wings. We got Ariel. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, let's check her outfit out. Ariel's been getting a lot of love. Elsa looks worlds better. Yeah. Oh, she's so pretty though. We have to stop Ursula from taking control of this battle. Are they different? So that one's like a green and like a pink color. What is Bell's? Red and pink? I think they both look really nice. It's cool that they gave them kind of like the same outfit. I don't know which one I like better. I think I might like Ariel's better, honestly. Hey, over here. The pink and like greenish color. Yeah, Ariel's looks really nice. Alright, what does Mickey want? Say, pal, I've been exploring and was wondering, could you help me do something special for Minnie? Sure, how can I help? Oh. Well, I've seen all kinds of incredible flowers around Eternity Isle, and I want to give Minnie some that are just as special. Wait, haven't we done this quest before? But a few of them are kind of hard to get without magic, like those shiny blue ones in the... Okay, maybe not. Uh, or the nice orange ones in Ancient's oh. Landing. Oh, and I also saw a big green one that were moving around in the wild tangled. Sunshine, yeah, sunshine. those seem kind of dangerous. Don't worry, I just... <laughs> I know just the flowers you're talking about. I'll see if I can find those for you. In the meantime, be careful if you go exploring the aisle. Don't worry, I will. So long for now. Okay, we're gonna have him follow us. Okay, we'll go to... The lagoon first. We all need a partner like Mickey. <laughs> Do they exist though? That's the question. Okay, quest. Oh, I have a few of them already. We need the green fly trap. What the heck were they at? This is not this one, that was a purple one. Got one here. They want six. Can it spawn in the other locations or just in the first two sections? Oh, here we go. All right, three. Oh, I'm definitely picking this up. This game robbed me of my tropical wood. It just snatched it right out of my chest. All right, here we go. We got four. Ba, ba, ba. I passed one. Mm. Where is it? I don't see it. Oh, I missed the letter, though. Never mind. How dare you? No, I wouldn't be surprised, though. I missed a lot of stuff. 
All right, we need two more. I'm thinking it's gonna be down, yeah, down here. Maybe we got one. No, why is there always one that we're missing? There's so many purple ones though. Oh, we got another memory. All right, let's get that. So I like the um, I like the new flowers. Like the the bird of paradise looks nice, but I really like those glass-looking flowers. I've been crafting a lot of them, and I think I'm going to use them in a lot of my dream snaps. They're just such a pretty flower. I like how they like kind of reflect a little bit whenever you have the sun on them. I love that Scrooge walks around more now. He walks around too much. That duck is everywhere. I see him way more than any other villager in the game now. He likes the fish too. I be seeing him fish all the time. Uh, uh. Oh yeah, the luminescent flowers, those are really good too. Um, yeah, they added such a variety of plants. I was not expecting that. 147 likes, guys. Thank you so much. We are so close to our like goal. I need some more wood. Dex, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you for your dedication and hard work. I think I really appreciate it a lot. We were on the grind this week for sure. Thank you for that. It really does mean a lot. Guys, show Dex some love and chat. Yeah, I think every single night this week, I got like two or three hours of sleep for the past seven days. <laughs> it was fun though. I don't regret it at all. Covering the update, man, I, I don't know. It's just, I'm like obsessed with it. I love making videos and, and um, covering this update was so fun. Like exploring every little thing. And we're still uncovering some stuff. But yeah, it was a, definitely a fun update week for sure. Okay, Orange Bird of Paradise. Trinity Isle, Foraging. Where are they? Yeah, the Bird of Paradise looks cool. But it might be my least favorite out of the new flower. Danny, thank you for updating the light goal. Guys, thank you for helping us get 150 likes. Is my miss still auto -com um, completing? It still works, but I don't have it active right now. I haven't got that quest and I haven't been grinding out miss duties. But it does still work. I know a lot of people were concerned with the hotfix that we got yesterday. And there was a lot of word that it was um, fixed, but it's not. You can still do it. You can still get free mist. Okay, I might have to look at my chest because I feel like I might have some of these in there. Maybe. I do hate that they fixed the uh, softwood spawning though. Because I do not want any softwood spawning on Eternity Isle. I have enough of that over in the other area. I wish it only spawned the tropical wood. Alright. My inventory is always full. Jill, welcome in. Welcome in. Have you been watering the big plants? The ones that are like huge? They give. Tr yeah, I have. Yeah, that's probably the best way to get tropical wood. Oh my gosh, jump scare. I forgot I had this giant heap of gold in here. Well, I don't call it a treasure room for nothing, all right? I gotta move it though. We gotta scoot it over. That thing takes up a fourth of the room. That is insane. They went a little overboard with it. Oh my gosh, what else do I have in here? All these plants? Red luminescent flowers. 
I gotta put some of this stuff up. There's just too much stuff. Bumblestone? That look like honeycombs? Those are pretty cool. Okay, there we go. I don't think I have any more flowers. I guess I haven't been picking them up. I told myself that this update I was going to pick up more flowers. Oh, I put my green fly traps away. All right, guys, we got to organize this at some point. <laughs> this is terrible. I'm going to have to take some time later today and set up chests like I have in my other room. What is that? You mean the gold? The, the heap of gold right here? This was something I got out of a furniture pouch. Okay, we need one blue glass-like flowers. I love the new um, blue luminescent flower. Yeah, I used them in my dream snaps for the foreground of my dream snaps. They're right here. And then these are some of the glass ones. They had so much nice little like decor added and flowers and everything. Rachel, Leah, thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Logan, you don't have the DLC yet. It's definitely worth it if you ever plan on getting it sometime down the, the road. Okay, so those are over in the plains and the wastes. Got one more to go. Mine's a mess too. I had I known. Oh my gosh, what do I? I have a tier three just laying here. What? Yeah, had I known they were gonna add so many items, I would have set up a room. I know next expansion when they give us another one, probably next year. I know for a fact, set up a storage room. All right, Mickey. Here you go, Mickey. I got those flowers you asked for. Oh, thanks, pal. Hmm, hold on. There's something funny about these. The blue one, is it made out of glass? Yeah, that's what you asked for. It seems more like a pet than a house plant. A lot of dangerous magic was running wild on Eternity Isle. I guess it made the flowers a bit more weird. Uh, gosh, I don't know if Minnie would like any of these that much. <laughs> she had enough trouble with magic during her first, uh, during her time in the here and there. Ah. Sorry I asked you to do all that, sir. Do you think that since these flowers seem so magical that somebody else could use them for something? I'll bring them to Merlin. He can use them for his experiments. Um, Ursula, she can use them for her po Let's give them to Ursula. You sure about that, pal? What if she uses them on something dangerous? Whatever Ursula wants to use them for, she'll be in my debt. That's useful. Guess I'll have to trust you on that. <laughs> Thanks for helping, Suro. Even if I didn't want it to turn out exactly how we planned, next time I'll stick to petunias. <laughs> A Barb's Cozy Corner. Hello, welcome in. 25 floors of storage. Yeah, we finally know why they gave us so many floors. Bring the flowers to Ursula for her potions. I gave them to Ursula. I mean, I have to. I don't know. I, I have like a love-hate relationship with Ursula, but she has helped us many, many times. And I kind of root for the villains anyways. James, thank you so much for becoming a member. Guys, show James some love. There's some hearts. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. And yes, Siri, I thank you so much for subscribing. All right, let's see what she says. Now, what's this, sir? Are you looking to trade for something? Nope, they're flowers just for being you. I knew there was a reason you're my favorite. These will make very useful potions. They're practically oozing with potential. Just don't use them for evil, okay? Perish the thought. And just to show you how generous I am, as a little thank you, a potion that's sure to keep your crops thriving. Oh, I will actually... Oh, she gives me a small one? Come on. I went and picked all them flowers. 
And she gives me a basic miracle growth elixir. I actually have to get some Vitalis crystals to make some more of those potions. Because I couldn't grow this little pumpkin that was right here. All right, let's see what quest should we knock out next? I'm trying to do some of these smaller ones. We have one for S Scrooge here. Plant and harvest a garden in the glittering dunes. We need celery, broccoli, and cabbage. Oh, what is this item? Just a gem? You have a bunch? Yeah, I thought I had a lot. Like, I have so many of the pickaxe potions and um, the shovel one. I don't know what happened. And then my Vitalis crystals. I know I had a few hundred. Maybe I gave them to people for friendship rewards. But I know before the update, and if you guys remember from stream, I was farming Vitalis crystals, remember? And uh, I got on here to make one, and my crystals are gone. I don't have any. But I know before the update, that's what we were grinding for, because I was telling everyone that they give you a lot of experience for friendship. So I don't know where they, they went to. Deborah, thank you so much for the super chat. Let's go. Two brain cells just rubbed together and I realized this is my first time catching you live. Love your videos, it's so helpful. Deborah, thank you so much and I see you comment on my videos a lot and I really appreciate that. Um, trading actually got easier today. Yeah, so I think they fixed Xbox, right? So does that mean that Xbox can now trade with PC players on Steam? Has anyone tested that yet? Because that's what made me sad when I was able to trade with someone and then they were on Xbox and it just won't connect at all. But I did read that they fixed like crossplay, so I'm hoping that it... But PlayStation still didn't get fixed, right? Someone said that the PlayStation trading was like broken or the multiplayer was. My housewarming quest is bugged and an item disappeared from my inventory. Has that happened to anyone else? I've had items disappear from my inventory, but I haven't had that quest bug for me. Xbox can trade a PC and Switch. That's awesome. That's good news. Deborah, thank you again for the super chat. All right, so we need to go get some celery. Good to see you. I think this is celery. Yeah, we'll get six of those. And then broccoli and cabbage, which I think is in the grasslands. Uh, me and Tani tested earlier. We can visit each other, so I assume we can trade. That's the best news ever. And now we won't have to make those tags in Discord, too. Since that works. Okay, six of these. Wait, where do I get broccoli? That's got to be in the desert. That's a weird crop to grow over here, though. I ain't never seen anyone grow broccoli in the desert. All right, plant harvest a garden in the glittering dunes. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. By the way, if you guys want, after I finish this quest, we can do a valley tour. So if somebody wants to share off their valley, that could probably be something we do. You know, a couple valleys per stream. Uh, every time we stream, we could do one or two valleys. But yeah, if anybody wants to show off their valley during the stream, let me know in the comments. And we'll check it out. Alright, one more row. Desert broccoli. The best of broccoli in the world. Uh, okay... Do broccoli over here. Uh, Luis, have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for stopping by. Can we do valley visits tomorrow on reset stream? Um, uh, maybe. Our reset streams are usually busy and short. Because I usually put out a video after the stream. So, I don't know if Wednesdays would be the best day for a valley tour. 
Plus, I think a lot of people would be working on their dream snap and checking out the results and also at work. Oh, dang, I should have used my elixir. I think we just messed up. Unless I got a buddy with me. Nah, I still don't think it's enough. We would have to get very lucky to pull this off. Okay, I need a gardening buddy. I think Goofy. Ba, ba, ba. I'll be ready by the end of the week for a tour. Yeah, get your um, get your valleys ready if anybody wants to do valley tour. I might set up something in Discord so uh, to make it easier on who wants to show it off when and then maybe plan it out. Because now that I got most of the main guides out, I want to start doing some valley tours. Whoa. Oh gosh, I need to clean up. <laughs> I mean, everybody knows how messy our our valley. I mean, look at me. I, I live stream how ugly my valley is all the time. It's all good. Uh -uh. Yeah, we're gonna have to go buy some more crops. We messed this up big time. Oh no, my broccoli! What the heck? Oh, come on! The game cheats! <laughs> Give me my broccoli! Oh, the gardening buddy didn't even affect the quest! That is so lame! Alright, we need more cabbage. Okay, so we need celery and cabbage. How much does it cost? Uh, how much does what cost? Whoa! Okay, now we need to go back and get our celery. I'm so excited to see how different people's valley are. Me too, because... It's one thing to see them in screenshots, you know, but actually being able to look around at some of these decorations is going to be incredible. Okay, back to the desert. I finally saw the pink snake. Uh, yeah, you, I had to. I don't know if it was the same for everyone, but for me, I had to open up the Borderlands area before I was able to finally get to the pink snake. Okay, one, two, three, and four. Just got the pink snake, it's so lovely. The snakes are your favorite ones, aren't they? Yeah, I, I think they look pretty cool. I don't know how I feel about how they look in a dream snap, though. I feel like they're kind of risky too to put in a dream snap because I wonder since a lot of people don't really like snakes, kind of like um, spiders, I wonder if, if someone sees a snake in the dream snap, they're going to be like, nope, and don't click on it. <laughs> so that, I was thinking about doing it in one of my dream snaps, but then I was like, oh no, I wonder if I would get less votes or not. All right, back to Scrooge. The monkeys are too cute. The monkeys, I think, are gonna be a hit in Dream Snaps. Their their poses are just really like they have. it's almost like they have different versions of their poses. Oh, I'll test. Yeah, definitely let us know. Suru, did you plant those cash crops as I ad uh, advised? I did. Got any more tips? That I do, and it's a doozy. I was exploring the aisle, reminiscent about my adventuring days in the Yukon. When I made a discovery, this aisle used to be home to all sorts of ancient machines that helped care for it. What sort of machines? Well, there seems to be a number of them. I'll have to look into it. I'll let you know what I find. But don't worry. I haven't forgotten the work you've done making a turn to the aisle more prosperous already. Here's something for your trouble. Please don't be gold. 
While I was adventuring around the aisle, I found some precious gems that you might find useful. Okay, there you go. I'll take it. Spend time with a silly stall owner. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, he's got more quests. Scrooge McDuck has some more tips for you on the economy of attorney. I'll talk to him. As someone who used to live in the Arizona desert, I'm sure someone planted broccoli in the desert, but not out in the middle where no one <laughs> lives. I just don't know how well it would work. Uh, Deborah, I've been playing Dream My Valley for over a year, but I stayed constantly confused on the aisle, but I love it. This is also why I need your videos. It was The update definitely seemed overwhelming at first. Uh, I think it was just because it was a completely different play style than what we're used to. But once you catch on, uh, it's really cool. I like how this expansion was just a whole different vibe from the original. You must remember how I was telling you the aisle used to be home to all sorts of ancient machines that helped care for it. Mm. I managed to learn more about one, and it's something, uh, it's some sort of machine that gardens for you. Oh, I are, Scrooge, I'm already way ahead of you, bro. Aye, <laughs> it's quite remarkable. Reminds me of the sort of things my dear friend J Gyro builds. Uh, there's just one wee problem. I don't know where we're going to uh, find all the ancient parts to build it. Ancient parts? That's the sort of thing I'm always finding with my hourglass. Well then, why don't you take these ancient blueprints and see what you can do with them? It looks like I should have no problem finding all of this stuff and building an ancient gardener. I'll have to work. Aye, and if it's not gardening you're interested in, you can always make another kind of ancient machine. The potential here is grand. I cannot wait to see what you do. Thank you kindly. Yeah, I already made every single ancient machine. Build any of them? Alright, let's do it. I was needing to upgrade one of mine anyways. Okay, ancient machines. Oh no, where did I where did I park my my ancient machine? Oh, right here. Okay, we'll upgrade the gardener. Actually, I think that might be tier 3 already. I already forgot which ones I upgraded. Yeah, I did. So I have one tier 3, but I need to upgrade my vacuum. And then we have the ancient cooker too. So let's snatch one of these up. And we'll upgrade that. Okay, so regular ancient cooker. It takes two level two parts and then the other stuff, which I have a bunch of. 3,500 mist. Oof. And then to make it an advanced one, I just need more mist. I have everything else. Place any ancient machine in the glittering dunes. I like the vacuum. It's really good to harvest when you decorate. I know. I have got to upgrade that thing. Oh, here's one of those furniture pieces I was telling you guys about that you need glimmer for. This is the Agrabah Palace. It's pretty cool. I was hoping it was a little bit bigger. Okay. Um, Advanced Ancient Gardener. We'll put the cooker in here. Oh, it is bigger. Let me see what level 2 does. So, the first one basic would let us craft 10, and it looks like this one is going to let us craft 20 things at a time. Dang. Let's see if it's faster. Ah, oh, I think it is. Yeah, I think level 2 is a little bit faster. I'm so happy to get the ancient cooker. I hate cooking in all forms, even in virtual reality. We're on the same page. I'm the same way. And I was kind of shocked. Uh, I was reading my comments on my video when I was showing off the ancient cooker. And a lot of people were not too happy with it. They were saying that um, it was too slow. But the beauty of these things is you can go and do something else. You know, like you could do a stack of 20, have it auto cook for you. 
And then you can leave it and go do something else. But I would much rather have the ancient cooker than to be pushing that button 20 times. Ignis, hello. Welcome in. I'm loving all of the ancient machines. Especially the ancient gardening. Or the gardener. Oh, man. Much needed. Zero, you've done it. You rebuilt an ancient machine. <laughs> Eternity Isle will be running itself before long. And I'll make all the profit. Oh, but surely you'll toss a wee percentage my way as a finder's fee. Of course. <laughs> Mist Fang, let's go. Thank you so much for becoming a member. Guys, please show Mist some love. Guys, thank you so much for the memberships. I really appreciate it. Asuro, I knew you would forget your genius business advisor. You wouldn't forget. And I haven't forgotten you either. Here's something for your troubles. While I was adventuring around the aisle, I found something that might be useful to making more of those machines. It's been a pleasure consulting with the attorney aisle is already just about taking care of um, herself. I knew it was going to be a tier one. No. Lunar prism. Hello. Hello. All right. We finished that. Okay, guys. Has anyone done any voting this week? I feel like not many people have been voting this week at all, and myself included. But I gotta, I gotta put some votes out here. I have not been doing at all. I actually like this theme, Dreamers Unite. I like seeing what everybody loves about their own valley. And Miss Fing with the super chat as well. Thank you so much. Love the helpful videos. I really appreciate you. I did the minimum votes. Yeah, I did my fifty. So I want to I want to put some more votes out there before tomorrow. So the theme is decor. It takes a village to make something great. Celebrate what makes your valley unique. All right. So let's see. Something that makes uh, your valley unique. Whoa! They have like a uh, a gladiator type of vibe, or a, or is this an Egypt type of vibe? Mickey and Goofy are throwing it off a little bit. Man, they, I like the lightning that they got, though. I've never managed to capture that. <laughs> oh, they got Maui. We have somebody that loves Maui. Confirmed. Ignis, thank you so much for subscribing. I've been doing 50 to 100 votes a day. I really like this theme, too. Hercules vibes. That's it. Greek. It's like, like Greek vibes. Uh, ooh, they got the little toy aliens. Oh, I forgot there was like the tiny versions of the balls. How do the vacuums work? I could actually show you real quick. There's just one problem. I forgot where I parked my vacuum too. <laughs> I gotta remember to pick them up. I don't remember if it's over in here or in my main valley. I think maybe it's over in the plains area. I think. I'm not sure. I'm going the wrong way. I think I had it up here by Gaston Shipper. Yeah, there it is. Okay. I actually have the perfect biome to test this on too. So this is only level one. Yeah, this is only level one. So I can only collect Splinters of Fate or Night Thorns. So you would just go put it in a biome or a section like this one here and you'd place it down in there and then you go over there. Do, 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 do. And pretty much all it does is clean up your, your valley. So you would click on this. There's 14 splinter fates in this area and the range. So you hit OK. It's going to cost you 140, but we're also going to get some back. See, I got 913 back and some other resources and it saved me time from going and cleaning that up. But once you upgrade it, yeah, once you upgrade this thing, then you can start picking up other resources, which I actually have not tested out just yet. And I don't know if I have enough to upgrade it. Let's see. Probably not. We did it a second ago. Yeah, the Night Thorns and um, the Splinters of Fate. 
Oh, here we go. Okay, so regular ancient vacuum. I do have enough now. Takes two ancient cores. Level two. And then let's test that out. Also, did you guys ever craft this thing? Do you notice it's like from Atlantis? It's like one of the little vehicles that they had. That's just confirming at this point. Okay, I think it's in utilities. Regular. Oh, it's bigger too. Okay, so yeah, now I can harvest flowers and oh, crops. It says wild crops, so like the herbs and stuff. And the flowers. So this is actually cool, because imagine if you were doing some pixel art with some flowers. You could just drop this thing down and pick them up instantly. Oh, it looks like you have to manually click on every single thing, though. Oh, never mind. There's the select all button. I was about to say. And then boom. So the vacuum is probably... I don't know. I, th I like them all. I don't know which one I, I like the most. But it's definitely cool. I'm going to put this back up here before I forget where it's at. We'll drop it right there. What's Jack's quest like? It's pretty fun. It was really fun, actually, but it's super short. Do you think Hercules um, is confirming because I'm in a mission and... Oh, yeah, I, I seen you tweet that over on Twitter today. Or it was today or yesterday. Maybe it was yesterday. But, yeah, I did see that. Uh, they have to at some point, I feel like. I just don't know when. They haven't really hinted around it other than what little bit they did in this update. Oh my gosh, why would... They they took a picture of Mother Gothel's backside. Okay, I like their valley though. They got the big Maui statue. Oh, this is a beautiful picture of their valley. They put the little pumpkin carriage thing here in the middle. Is this the plaza? Wow. I definitely got to vote for that. Uh, we'll vote for this one. Jack Skellington. How do we feel about Jack and Dream Snap photos so far? Like, we all love him. Does he look a little too... Does he stick out too much when it comes to Dream Snaps? Or are you guys loving it? I love my boy Jack. Don't get me wrong. Uh, oh, their valley's nice too. Hmm... I don't know which one to pick. I'll, I'll, I think I'm gonna go with this one. I've used them in my dreams. I haven't, I haven't even taken any pictures with them. Uh, I think a lot of us at first were a little, we were like wondering how it was going to go, you know, with him being so tall, but he actually fits into the pictures really well. Oh, they built a lot over here. Their character looks cute. She looks like uh, Naomi off of um, The Matrix. This is cute. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot more beach photos this week. I guess people really love um, the beach. I've seen a lot. That's like the fifth one we've seen already. Did I do my dream snaps already? I did. And I usually don't think I'm going to place too high, but the dream snap I did this week, I think I'm going to get it extremely high ranking. I do. I think I pulled it off this week. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. And I got really, really high tags too. Like super, super high tags for an outfit challenge. So I'm excited for that week's reset. Tomorrow's reset... I'm trying to think, what did I even do? Oh, I spent less than five minutes on it. Let me see if I can find it real quick. And I'll show you guys. Yeah, I spent less than five um, minutes on my... My dream snap. Uh... Dang, I don't know where it is at. All right, I'll show you. I'll show you guys tomorrow before reset. But I don't know how. Yeah, I don't know how well it's gonna go. It still looks good. Like it's still a good pitch here. It's just not something I put put a lot of effort into. 
Okay, got furniture outside. Um, oh, this one's... I love this one. I love any of these items here. So, back on the whole star path thing. I know we had a video earlier this week that we talked about some of the star path items. And a lot of people are wanting them to be brought back. And I think I know how they're going to bring the items back. So... If you saw the recent trailer, they have the whole winter palace that's coming out, right? Like this palace here, but it's winter theme. I'm thinking they're going to bring back some of these older items from the star path and they're just going to redo them because there's also a certain set of wings that are coming out in the future that look almost exactly like um, the other wings, like the raven wings. So... I'm thinking that they're going to revamp some of those items. That way people have a chance of getting something similar without missing out on it. So I wonder if they'll do that with like the Ferris wheel and some of these other rides. If they'll just have like a different skin on them. But that's my theory on how they're going to bring back some items from early access that people missed out on. And there's other games that do the same thing too. Oh, this is pretty. Like Fortnite does the same thing. They have like the OG skins in Fortnite and then they have like, they bring the same skin back, but they put a little twist on it. And yeah, I think that's got to be how they're going to go about bringing back the early access ones. That way the OG ones are still exclusive to the people that were like, you know, been there and done that. And then it still gives the newer players that are just now buying the game a chance to to get some of those items that look similar. Uh, uh, uh. Monsters Inc. Apartment is premium, not Star Path. Did I say Mon- I don't remember saying Monsters Inc. Apartment. But yeah, that's a premium shop item. Oh, that was a nice picture. We're seeing a lot of like winter themes. I was also debating back and forth for this week's Dream Snaps. I didn't know if I wanted to do a winter theme or something like in the forest or something because I've seen a lot of people were doing a winter theme. And I feel like that might be pretty good. I, I think that might be the theme a lot of people are looking at, especially at Christmas and stuff. Jen, I'm off work on my way home to play. Let's go. Oh, dang. Where is this? What the heck? Oh, is this a sunlit plateau? I was about to say, this biome looks massive. <laughs> I think it is. I think the bridge is over on this side in the Vitale's Mines. This is pretty cool though. I gotta vote for that. Oh, wow. This one's pretty too. Dang. They got, they got the little capybara. The character looks really cute. You just saw that photo while voting? That is so weird that happens when there's like 100,000 submissions, but a lot of us will see the same thing. So when I started doing voting over on PlayStation, I I not only would vote, like I would vote one week and I recognize the names because they have usernames. And not even joking, the three weeks that I voted on PlayStation, I would have like the same 50 usernames at the very beginning. Each week, it's like the same people were being shown before other people every single week that I did voting. And I thought that was strange because even though there's less people on PlayStation, there's still a lot more that I should be coming across before anyone else. So I don't know. PlayStation voting is definitely weird. Oh, we have two beautiful photos here. Um, I was really hoping you'd see mine on PlayStation. I didn't do a, a PlayStation voting video. I don't think I did any voting videos this past week for any platform. Guys, what are we thinking? I think they're both beautiful. This one looks good. This one looks nice. Mm, I think this one's more well composed though. Like with the fairy godmother, that just looks precious. Right, uh, two. Yeah, I like their setup. I think they should have scooted back just a little bit though and just had the the like right here be the cutoff so you could see more of it. That's a beautiful picture. I think they're gonna ring very high. Okay. It's an interesting photo. The definitely a different angle. Ooh. 
Oh, they got the forgotten sitting down too. You don't see that too often. Mm, I definitely gotta vote for that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This is like, it looks like my alien dance party moved into someone else's house and they are not having it right now. Oh man, I still remember that whole dance party. We got robbed on it. On Rainbow Week. I'm waiting for Rainbow Week to come back. Because I'm going to take my knowledge that I have about Dream Snaps and I'm going to do the dance party again. But I'm going to be doing it in a different way and I'm so excited for them to bring that back. Oh, dang. They got all the new items in here. Look at that. The giant ornaments. This is beautiful. Bex, hello, hello. Graven, welcome in. I woke up and saw Sura was streaming. Glad I made it. Thanks for stopping by, Raven. That one's so good, though. That's probably the best one we've come across. Oh. Another interesting angle. I love their pathing here, though. This is really cool. Oh, and I love how they, like, alternated the bigger, like, uh, these smaller chunks of rock right here between foul and tile. That's really cool. Dang, I might need to steal this. Got some Christmas going on. Mmm, I like this one. Two selfie photos. I'm thinking a lot of these people are also newer players that just got the game or got the physical copy. Dang, look at the quality of this photo. Uh, yeah, sorry, Fix. I know you were the first, you were like the first person in the stream. I was just saying hi again. You don't want me to say hi to you? Vote for that one. I don't know, the Christmas photos I just have to vote for. What's with all the, the high angles? I guess people are trying to show off their builds, like parts of their valley. Usually we don't see anyone take a photo from that angle. Mm -hmm. uh, Claire, hope you find the hidden treasures in the Cape of Wonders. There's a hidden treasure in there? How much longer will I be streaming? Probably like 30 minutes or so. Is this something you have to actually find, or do you have to, like, use your hourglass for it? I did look around in there a little bit. Oh my gosh, this is so nice, too. This looks like, um... Isn't this the place that Merlin's house originally spawned when we started the game? Did they just redecorate it? There are little chests in the cave. I'll have to take a look at that. Whoa! See, this is why we need to do some valley tours. This is incredible! Wow, this looks... I don't know, this is like the best valley I've ever seen, what the heck? Alright, we gotta find out whose valley that is. That's gotta be top 10 for this week, for sure. Yeah, that is insanely beautiful. This one's nice too. Alright, you guys said hidden treasure in Cave of Wonders? I think I got them all, but we can go check. Alright, let's go check this out. I'm always getting so turned around in the, bot, uh, the new areas. Oh, I already have that snake. I don't really need to feed him. They did a pretty good job in here, though. It looks cool. -da -da. Look at all the treasures. So you can't get that chest, right? Those are just for decorations. Yeah, definitely. Was there any secret treasures in the last room? Jafar is so cute. <laughs> That's not the word I would use to describe describe him, but he's definitely something. No secret paths here.
Um, if there was something here, then I guess I already grabbed it. Nothing else. I probably already grabbed everything, because whenever I got in here, I did look around at a lot of stuff. Bum, bum. New to the game. Like, completely new to the game or to the update? If you're new to the game, you got a lot to do. Alright, well, there was nothing else in there. I think I checked everything in here, too. Can't get back there. Or back there. Oh, you're somewhere here. Totally new. That's actually exciting, though. I did see someone post on Reddit what it looks like when you first click on Scrooge's quest line. And there's like 10 different things there. So, I feel like it would be overwhelming because I restarted fully probably like six months ago and it was overwhelming then, so I imagine it would be the same. Or actually worse now. Okay, nothing there. Yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to ask over here, or you can join our Discord. We have a million helpful people over there. And I'm sure one of the mods would love to link the Discord. Uh, you could definitely join. We have a lot of channels that could help you. And we also have trading channels over there if anybody wants to do some trades. And Dev, thank you so much. And Tanny, thank you, thank you. Alright guys, I think I got all of the secret treasures in here. Oh! I spoke too soon. Give me another furniture pouch. Alright, we got two to open. I'm excited now. Alright, wish me luck. Oh, we got the medium heap of riches this time. <laughs> so maybe it just gives you one of each. And then we got the small heave. Okay. Go back to the back room? I just, yeah, I just went in the back room. There was nothing there. I think we searched every inch of that place. There's one in the back of the cave. All right, I'll go back there again, but I'm 99% sure we grabbed it. So I guess maybe that's where that last furniture pouch came from that gave me the giant heap. Did I get the big, the big heap? Yeah, I did. Are you talking about the chest that was like over here? Because we already got it. And then there's not really anywhere else that you can go that I know of. It's okay, we can go out this door anyways. Oof, there's the blue snake. I need him too. Don't run from me, please. Okay, eggs. I wonder if this is my last time to feed him. I fed him a lot. No! That's okay. Ew, we <laughs> got some bugs. I'm decorating my valley for visitors. Yeah, I'm gonna go feed the rest of my creditors. Is there anybody for today's stream? I know it's last minute. Is anybody, does anybody want to do a valley tour? If you do, let me know in the comments and we'll head over to your valley. Brooklyn, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we need critters. I... I have this one. I fed this one. I fed this. And the green one is not here yet. Uh, 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. So this one's available now, right? So let me go do that. Do I have any cabbage? 
I do. Let me go feed that little guy. Uh, we got Torta, Paper Riot. My plaza's empty, no worries. Uh, Brick Boss. Which I thought Witchy was gonna finish uh, finish hers throughout the week. I am excited to look at that one though. All right, we'll look at Tortoise first. Where is where's the little cow? Go? Is he over here? I probably should have looked. The lagoon and the lagoons over here okay my valley's a mess no worries nah my valley's always a mess too that's just what makes it special where is that little thing this is why we don't decorate all right it makes it too hard to find stuff What in the world? Yeah, we completed the main story. It was a... Uh, it was a lot shorter than we thought it was. <laughs> it was very anticlimactic too. But we still have two more parts left. Guys, where's the little cow capybara? Where'd he go? There's no way he can come up here, right? Oh, he can. All right. Well, that's good to know. Will I be doing Valley Tours on PlayStation? When I buy a PS5, yes. But, um, yeah, the graphics on the PS4 are just so terrible that it, I, I wouldn't want anyone's Valley to look less beautiful than it really is. So once I get a PS5, I will. Ooh, we got a memory. Oh, it's Simba. How cute. Okay, so we fed that one. Uh, we need the blue one. 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. So we have to get... No, that one's passed. And then the black one is in the promenade. All the way over here. Ooh. I love the little heart on his head. They did such a good job with that. Adding a little uh, cow print. Capybara is just too cute. Okay, so I think... Oh, there he is! That was easy. I like this one, too. Uh, there's your cabbage. Alright, Brick Boss. We'll check out Tortoise first, and then we'll come check out your valley. Why well, he didn't give me anything? How sad. So then we gotta feed the monkeys. The monkeys are all that's left. So not here. 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. The black and brown one is in the courtyard. I'm almost done. I think I just have like two monkeys left. And then we good. The monkeys were bugging out for a while. I think I saw that they fixed it though. Where is that little guy? This is the courtyard, right? Can he be over in that next section? Let me look. Not over here. I guess he would have to be? I, I don't think I've ever seen him in here though. There he is. Hey, little guy. Please don't bug out on me. Just let me love you. Goofy, get out of here. I feel like he's gonna bug out. They like teleport too. Look at that. They like glitch out and teleport.
Whoa, where'd he go? See, look at that. Oh my gosh, I don't think it's gonna work. Yuffie wants some love too. <laughs> He's not getting it from me, I can tell you that. Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. Maybe if I log out, come back in, it'll fix it. Your monkey, your monkey is broken. <laughs> oh man. Alright, well, you know what? We didn't want you anyways. Okay. And then 6 p.m. Oh, it's definitely not 6 p.m. I think that's it. Alright, let's go visit Torta. And then we got Brick Boss. Was there someone else that wanted to? We'll we'll do three we'll do three tours. We'll do three valley tours. Oh yeah, we yeah, after we visit someone, we'll try again. That happened- that happened to my monkey I had over, like, in that starter area. The one in Ancient, whatever. Oh, we gotta log out, right? Okay, title screen. Mm-hmm. A multiplayer connect let's do it is it gonna let me Oh, my character is stuck. <laughs> the heck? Why can't I move? Torda, your valley is broken. What in the world? This happened to me when I first visited. What the heck? Return to title screen. Game progress will be saved. All right, well, I guess we're going to have to do some valley tours later then. <laughs> oh, I, I thought they said they fixed multiplayer. What the heck? Let me go try my try the monkey. You said that happened when you first visited Dev? It's let me do it a few times. Multiplayer is glitchy. Me and Raven got stuck in my shop. This happened to me today. It also wouldn't allow me to pick anything up either. Alright, well, we might just do Valley Tours another time then. Uh, it'll give you guys some time to do your cleanup. So, clean up your valleys, get stuff decorated, and then next next week or so, we can start doing them. I want to set up a thing over, like, in Discord. Uh, I don't know how to go about it yet, though, where you can, like, submit if you want to share your valley or not. I don't know. If anyone has any ideas on... <clears throat> how we should do that, then let me know. Something to look forward to for Valley Tours. Yeah, definitely gonna set something up. Let me go check this monkey. I wonder if it's like a connection issue. 
I hope it's not since I'm like streaming or something that it's not allowing me to like look around as like is good. The monkey gun? To just make a chat for it and then make a list. I wonder if there there's also some like programs where you could submit something, like if you want a request for it. And then maybe upload a screenshot or something. The, the problem with the threads is our server, we have so many people on our server right now. And we have, uh, we're, we keep running into the problem where we have over a thousand active threads in Discord. And after that, nobody else can post anything. So between Dream Snaps and the results for Dream Snaps, and then also some of the other threads, we're, we just keep hitting that limit, so it's a problem. But yeah, a Google form, that's what I was thinking. We could do something like that. Okay, monkey wants a banana split. So we'll do that. We'll set something up. Hey, we got the black and brown monkey. Oh my gosh, I'm so low on mist. Was there another monkey I needed to get? I think that was the last one. 6 p.m. So I have over two hours left for that one. And then this one's not here. Oh, the overlook. We got the red and beige monkey. Is he the one that was glitched for me? I think he was. Are my streams always around this time? I mainly stream around this time, yeah, between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. But I also sometimes stream later around like 7, 7 to 8 Central Standard Time. It's usually around those time frames, but majority of them are around this time. And except for reset streams. We've, we do a stream every reset, so tomorrow morning at 8 p.m. or 8 a.m. for me is when I'll be streaming again. Yeah, so I had that monkey up here and he was completely glitched out. Ooh, we got another furniture pouch. Spring Reborn. Nah, I don't want that. I think I have it already. Where's the monkey at? Krim TV, hello, hello. Isn't he usually here? Oh, there he is. It's gonna be hard to chase him in this area. I hope he doesn't go where all my trees are. Please, little buddy, behave. You gotta be kidding me. I knew it. Ba, ba, ba. These monkeys are a pain. <laughs> They're so easy to lose them too. There we go. Banana split. Can't believe how many things are in the update. It's so exciting. They they did good by us. Ooh. Alrighty, guys. I guess that about wraps up the stream. Like I said, we are going to be streaming again in the morning at reset. Exactly on reset time. So if you guys want to stop by in the morning, I would absolutely love that. We're going to get our results for Dream Snaps. Like I said, there should be new premium shop items tomorrow. I'm hoping for at least two new things. But they may want to space it out. I know for a fact there's a lot of new premium shop items. But I'm excited for that. And we'll also have a new Dream Snaps theme. It should be new because with the update they mentioned that they had a bunch of new ones. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. Get your valleys ready. We'll start doing some valley tours I guess here in a week or two. We maybe tried to jump the gun a little bit. But I'll probably set up maybe some Google forums or something over on Discord. We'll get it figured out. And um, start sharing off some valleys and some streams. And also maybe, I'm thinking maybe an extra video a week of a couple valley tours. That might be fun. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I will see you guys tomorrow morning. <laughs>